one of my granddaddy's favorite prayers was a serenity prayer. The serenity prayer, God grant me the strength to accept the things that I can't change, the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. You know, that right there, that's that's law. You feel me? Because if you can do that, man, you'll be good to go. You know, you can't change games talking. We can't change that. It's going on. It's happening. You feel me? Um, what I can do is speak about it. What I can do is document the shit. You know, what I can do is learn from it and uh, grow from it. Uh, and the wisdom to know the difference is pretty much the knowledge to know what you can and what you can't do. You feel me? Cause they gon' they, bro, you gotta understand they get a fucking matrix since that movie is real, bro. It's like you cannot make a person see the their bullshit. God gotta do that. You feel me? You can't make a person know God, bro. God gotta do that. You feel me? All you can do is move accordingly, you feel me? And praise his name, you feel me? Like honor him. You can't be out here and be like, you got to love Jesus, you got to love God, you got to go. You can't do that shit. That ain't going to make nobody want to hear that shit, bro. You just got to walk like that and talk like that, bro. When people enter my life, I treat them good, bro. You feel me? I treat them with respect. And when they disrespect me, I check that shit at the door. And uh, I keep it fucking moving, you know? But I'm always cordial. Even when my gang stalkers, bro, even when I know a motherfucker gang stalking me, even when his family gang stalking me, I'm still cordial. I know what you're doing, even when I'm fucking with somebody, like on a trying to get to know them type level, and they gang stalking, I'm still respectful because I'm not going to even give you the power to believe that you fucking overcame me with your bullshit. Nah. Now, what I'm learning, though, you know, the older I get is because you really care for somebody. And then you see the gang talking to you, you, really, you just want to go off. And sometimes I snap on their ass as far as going off and telling them about themselves. But I don't get physical. You feel me? I don't get physical because that's not going to change nothing. You can't beat sense into a motherfucker. You can't beat the hoe out of a motherfucker. You can't beat the devil out of motherfucker. All you can do to combat that shit is with love. You feel me? Because you want me to go ham. And you that's real. You got to understand we are not bad. That's Ephesians, uh, what, 6, Ephesians, uh, Ephesians 6, 12. You cannot, we not battling flesh and blood, bro. We not battling people, bro. We battling them spirits within them. And these people at some point were so weak that the devil seen that shit and capitalized on that shit and advanced on that shit and used they ass to attack you. So you think it's that person that did that shit, bro? Sometimes them motherfuckers don't even know, be knowing what they doing. That's why Jesus was like, forgive them. Yahshua was like, forgive them for they not know what they do. You know? They might not know that they being a whole ass nigga. They think that they being probably, they probably think in their mind they being real as fuck. You know, that's how of a reprobated mind they've been given over to. That's how much of a reprobated mind they've been given over to. So you can't even, when you advance in game stalking and you understand the program and shit like that and you figured out the bugs and you figured out the protocol and you figured out the policies, you feel me? When you figure that shit out, bro, it's like, okay, you can't really, you, I mean, you will be, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, damn, you such a bitch ass nigga that you let them use your bitch ass. But then at the same time, you understand, man, say, Clearly, this motherfucker is dealing with demons, bro. Like, cause to even be able to gang stalk a person, bro, you gotta be dealing with demons, bro. You gotta be dealing with all kind of fucked up shit. You must have had a fucked up life. Life couldn't been have, have, could, could not have been good for you. For you to be able to be on some shit like that. Like, damn, you going out like that. Damn. They say the economy gonna cla uh, collapse so so much, bro, to the point where they got you niggas believing uh the the what's that crying wolf a motherfucker cry wolf yeah a motherfucker cry wolf yeah you think that this motherfucker it ain't even gonna happen it ain't even finna go down 
They've been saying the economy gonna collapse for, for they, that's just what they say. That's what they say for a reason, nigga. Cause when that bitch collapse, and you motherfuckers that's been so gun cold, so fuck stuck on money, bro, getting money. Killing motherfuckers for money, setting motherfuckers up for money, gang stalking people for money, bro. You people did all this wicked shit for money, and then you see how quick that shit could collapse. People are moving, countries are moving away from the U.S. dollar, bro. They ain't fucking with that shit, bro. That shit don't have much value, nigga. They dropping the dollar system. America gonna be the motherfucker gonna have to come to a new currency system. But motherfucker, Russia, all these different countries is not fucking with the U.S. dollar like that. They converting to other currencies, nigga. Matter of fact, I got an email from PayPal talking about converting to other currencies, bro. That's what's going on. These motherfuckers is not. I mean, damn, every other uh three few, uh ninety days, you see them in Congress can't make up their mind. The house divided. Are we gonna uh? Vote for this package. Are we gonna keep the government? They don't know if they gonna keep the government open or closed. I mean, we all know. Like when you woke, I ain't gonna say we all know because everybody don't know. Some of you niggas lost in the sauce. But the people that's woke, we know that it's the same bird, nigga. You got a left wing wing on a bird. You got a right wing on a bird. But it's the same fucking bird, bitch. That bird is the same thing, right? Okay, it's still the same fucking bird. Whether his left wing is doing good or bad, or whether his right wing is doing good or bad, or whether they both are uh, afloat and he flying, whatever. Whether one of them fucked up and he can't move, whatever. It's all the same bird. So even if they shut the government down like they been saying, nigga, we still gonna take, even if we, they be like, you did this. What's that nigga named Chip Roy? Shout out to Chip Roy, that nigga dope. That's a Texas attitude. That's Texas. <laughs> that motherfucker said you own it you own it and that motherfucker straight fucking said that shit you own it yo you out here doing this shit to the American people you own it it's congress but y'all all in a that's just like the freemasonic order bro I, everybody got different beliefs different ideas different opinions but y'all claim y'all all the, uh, the same goal obviously something ain't right cause why can't why can't congress Come to an agreement. They said that as far, as far as the Pfizer shit, where motherfuckers are able to be able to gain stock your ass. And, and let's just be real. You don't need Pfizer. You can pass that law and motherfuckers still not abide by it. Only difference is if a, if a regular civilian figures out that, hey, this law has been passed. This is what's been done to me. Now I can go to court and sue. Most of you motherfuckers don't know about shit like that. Y'all only know how to sue to get some money from a fucking accident and shit. Y'all don't know how to sue for civil rights and shit. Y'all don't know about that civil court shit. Okay, so if they was to pass the law, that's the only reason why they be kind of hesitant to even pass that motherfucking law. is because they don't want to be sued. They don't want to be exposed. They don't want to be called out. But let's just be real. Even if they pass the law, these motherfuckers break the law every day. You see police speeding all day. You see police profiling all day. You see police gang stalking, harassing and shit all day. They, they ain't supposed to be above the law, but they still own that bullshit, right? Okay. So they don't need to fucking pass the law. As you can see, your constitutional rights, if you're being gang stalked, don't mean shit. So then, then that makes you wonder, well, what the fuck is the constitution for? What do we need a constitution for? If you're not gonna abide by the fucking rights, what do we need it for? Do it, it doesn't even exist. Obviously not. Shit, ain't you being gang stalked? Ain't, didn't you fucking take some type of oath to protect the constitution? To protect this country and you out here gang stalking people that ain't did shit? You just going by what a motherfucker told you to do. Well, they talk, but then you get to know the person while you gang stalking, building them fake relationships, and you just see this person is actually all right. Why, why do they got us doing this shit? That's the wicked shit about it, bro. That's why I say again, you're not battling flesh and blood, bro. You battling, you battling wicked spirits in high places, high positions. I'm talking about Congress. 
I'm talking about military. I'm talking about presidency. I'm talking about law enforcement. Them hot places. Compared to where the fuck your, your ass is at. Them hot places. <laughs> but them low places. That's the irony of they shit. Don't you Freemasonry say above as above, so below? Y'all high places, but really uh below y'all low places as fuck, bro. Y'all wicked as shit. God gonna deal with you. Shout out to the most high God for keeping us afloat. Shout out to the targeted individuals for uh, for staying afloat, nigga. I got a whole fucking program. Just think about how the people felt during Congress uh Cointel Pro. They were like, damn, I know somebody infiltrating some shit. I feel like I'm being set up. And then finally they came out and declassified the shit. Yeah, we got a program actually going on. We got niggas uh, out here infiltrating groups and shit. The FBI and shit. CIA most likely involved. NSA all involved in shit. Crime Watch involved in shit. Uh, citizens on patrol, uh, volunteers in patrol. Everybody, the whole, everybody, neighborhood watch. Everybody on, on alert. <laughs> Everybody on alert, surveilling and shit. You feel me? Snitching and shit. This motherfucker did. This motherfucker did. This this they they did it. <laughs> you feel me? Snitching and shit. Feel I feel great. I did something good. You know what the fuck you did was wrong. That motherfucker ain't did shit to deserve that shit. Yeah, just think how COINTEL Pro felt. You know what I'm saying? The people, the victims of that shit. The victims of COINTEL Pro, Black Panthers and shit. And all the other groups that tried to say, hey, this is wrong. The militia probably, the black militia, this shit is wrong. We need to, uh, come together and protect ourselves against this government. I mean, that's what the Constitution was for. How you gonna be in the military and special ops, Green Beret? You feel me? All this shit. You did this shit for the government. I'm a veteran. Motherfuckers died for that constitution to protect that shit. That's why they joined that shit to so-called protect their families. And you gain stalking citizens, bro. Uh, that's cra that's beyond me. Uh, somebody said I was watching that 9-11 documentary and he had said that, uh, them senators, went, them congressmen, they ain't gonna put their kids in the military. The military come with you with perks and shit. Just like Freemasonry come with you with perks and shit. You how we move you for free. Wherever we go, we look at you gonna constantly be, be moving. You're gonna be moving all the time. We might need you over here, we might need you over there. You're gonna see some shit. You might get PTSD. We'll give you free health care. Go see that go see our doctors. Our, our doctors will help you. You might do some shit against your morals. But damn it, look at the pay. The pay is so great. Just just, just stick with it and do it. Damn it, your house going to be... You're going to have a couple of houses over here in Ohio. Over here in Texas. You're going to have houses everywhere. Just, just just do what we say do. And you you went in it because you want to... I want to protect this wicked ass country. And you in that city and you realize you then later on you ride down the street at the corner. You trying to not look to the left because that motherfucker standing right there begging for change. And he got a fucking veteran's hat on. He served this country. How do you not help him? Why is he on this? Why is he on the block? He served this country. Why is he not put up? Was he dishonor, uh, dishonorable discharge? Well, damn it. What was the reason? He went into this shit to protect this shit. He did what you told him, him to do. Or her. Now you don't really. That one thing I will say. You don't just see women veterans out there on that cone and shit. It always, it's always the. Usually it's the old white men. The old black men in a wheelchair and shit. With they damn veterans had on. MK Ultra mind control the fuck out. Don't even know it. The military practice experiments on the military. Just think what they doing to civilians. If they do it to the goddamn military, they do it. They don't even know, nigga. You signed up for that shit. <laughs> they doing experiments on you. Why you thinking you a part of an experiment against somebody else? That's the irony of this shit. This gang stalking shit, man. 
That's the irony of this game talking shit, bro. You think you over here, do they watching you, bitch, because they need to make sure you ain't telling the secrets and shit. You ain't fucking snitching, and you your ass is in line. Well, I'm fine with that as long as I get paid, and as long as I got a car, and I got a gun with a switch, and I, and I, and I, and I got the shoes and the money, and I'm fine with that. Oh, jiggle ass. <laughs> Oh, Uncle Tommy, God damn, ugh. Niggas make me sick. Especially you niggas, bro, you black men, bro. Stand the fuck up, stand for something or fall for anything. Freemasonry is in every fucking organization, whether it's a gang organization, an institution. It's everywhere, it's all throughout the fabric of society, nigga. You niggas can't see. That shit is everywhere, bro. It's disgusting to see a grown-ass black man, of course. You motherfuckers love to cry, damn black man, this black man, that black man. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. A black man ain't a being a white man, and the white man ain't a black man. Shut the fuck up. Take some fucking accountability. Take some fucking accountability. God damn. That's one thing I can't stand it to see a black man gang stalking. That shit is disgusting. Ew. How the fuck dare you be out here bitching about goddamn the black man this and the black man that and you out here gang stalking black women. Shit is disgusting. Shut the fuck up. In the words of King Payne, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I ain't trying to be divided against my race. I'm not on that. I'm saying you're divided against your race if you gang stalking your race, nigga. And this ain't even about no racial shit. A lot of different people being gang stalked. But I'm black. I'm Hebrew. So I can speak to the black people. How the fuck are you gang stalking your own goddamn race, nigga? I took a sociology class in college. They said race don't even exist. We messed up, man. We spread this all throughout the world and it don't exist. It's complexions, nigga. Are you light skin complected or are you dark skin complected? Do you have melanin? Do you not have melanin? Do you have a high pigmentation or do you not? You got black albinos out this bitch, nigga. You can't just be doing that shit, nigga. That's why at the end, nigga, where we at, you got to judge by the righteousness within. How do you know a motherfucker righteous? Because they ain't gang stalking you, nigga. It's a whole fucking agenda going on. If they gang stalking you, they're not righteous. Don't you see the fruits coming from that tree? They wicked as shit. If they gang stalking your ass, they are wicked as shit. If they not get if they treat you with respect, God damn it, on a consistent level, that's a child of God. Even children of God, nigga, we get frustrated with a motherfucker, but we still treat, we still walk to honor God, nigga. Because we could really bust your head to the white meat show, and you know it. You could really get God at this bitch, and you know it. But we also know that your ass is working with them people, pretending like you're not working with them people. On whatever level that you working with them people. You down with them. And that's cool. That's your that's your choice. But keep that shit over there. <laughs> yeah. You can't medicate the truth, nigga. You can't diagnose the truth as nothing but truth. It's the truth. Whoa. Don't the scripture say whoa to the man that says... Uh, evil is good and good is evil. You a wicked motherfucker if you try to say gang stalking is okay. You a wicked ass motherfucker that say that gang stalking is for national security. That's why it says when they scream peace and safety, then sudden destruction come. Soon as they did 9-11. Since they planned that shit and enacted that shit and enforced that shit and conspired that shit. To put that bullshit ass Patriot Act out there. To pretend as if that's the reason why they need to do this shit. It was out conspired to, for today. Where you motherfuckers is out here gang stalking on a, on a full scale. 
You niggas so much caught up to the fact that y'all don't even believe that God is real to the point where you think this this shit is okay. I grew up in a time you respect your motherfucking elders, bro. I wish I would gang stalk my goddamn elders. What the fuck? Motherfucker be 30 years old. That's your elder if you goddamn in your, if you a goddamn kid. That's your elder. Y'all got children out here gang stalking. Boy, you motherfuckers are wicked. Translate this shit in every language. God damn it. Translate this shit in Russia. Sometimes I be getting community strikes and shit and them motherfuckers be trying to say, uh, it's restricted in Russia. Why Russia can't hear what the fuck I gotta say? I want Vladimir Putin to hear that shit. <laughs> help him determine who helped with that goddamn targeted, uh, event out there at the damn town, uh, at the, at, at, at the theater. I want them to know who probably helped them, helped ISIS or whoever, who's funding ISIS? Ain't America funding that shit? Yeah. I want them to know how they treating us. Y'all let her tell you, gang stalkers tell every goddamn thing. I scratch my ass, y'all telling the goddamn world. Since you telling on me, tell the world about me, ask your girl about me. She'll probably tell you that I put it down. <laughs> Anyways, man, uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, man, say, it. I, it's, it's hard to say, man. You just gotta neo this shit out. You gotta neo this shit out. They be shadow banning the fuck out of my nigga, my, uh, nigga. They be shadow banning the fuck out of me. I can't, I can't even trip. <laughs> They be shadow banning the fuck. They be like, shut that shit down. Ch shut the channel down. Shut the page down. Shut it down. <laughs> they do not want shit that I gotta say out. They know all the shit they done did to my black ass. <laughs> they know. We can't never let that bitch get hurt. That's what they be on, man. Obviously. Anyways, it's the motherfucking Mac. Y'all have a good day. I'm out.